Mike D here everyone. I'm going to show you some uh, light painting today. So, I don't know, the lighting's a little dim, but you can see I have an eagle that is made of brass, which is actually kind of heavy, on top of this very light wooden uh, candlestick holder. So I'm going to try to make this look like the wings of a phoenix. And this is going to be like a fire color up here. I'm going to be using a fiber optic brush that's got some orange and yellow mixed. And it kind of gives you this little fiery look to it. So I'm hoping that is going to illuminate the subject good and bring some fire. And then I'm going to take the colors off and then I'm going to use just a plain white to go down to the candlestick. And I might do some flames down the bottom here. Um, but this picture, I'm going to quickly give it a little orange illumination just to bring out the whole subject and then light paint it. So, um, settings for this, ISO 100, F5.6. I am shooting on bulb mode with a shutter release cable with a two-second timer. So I could shut this off whenever I am done. So I'm going to go hit the lights, and then you'll hear the timer going, and we'll be good to rock and roll. So we are in the deck. And just think, people, this is on a coffee table. You don't need a special studio. I just got a backdrop stand and a coffee table and a black shirt. So watch what I create. Quick illumination. I'm going to kill that. I'm going to come over here with that fire. So I'm going to make the bottom look like some burnt embers down here. And I'm just going to paint some happy little fires embers over here. And thaw brass. And we get this whole back of the black background. And I really want to just fill that up with some fiery looking reds. Since the camera is looking in an up position, I gotta make sure I get up here too. So I can fill in the whole shot. And then I'm just wasting time. So here I'm just trying to spread out some flame. Get that background lit up. Looks like it's pretty good. Now I'm going to hit my subject. So we're going to just kind of burn. Like little burn marks, little singes here. I'm going to bring it up over here. Got to get all that nice and nice. Bring it out. Since it looks like it's swooping on in. And I'm going to go to the other side. Back in with the color. Can't forget the face. You gotta remember where you left off to. You don't want to over color one area. But that's what post editing is for. But most of these you don't have to post edit. And as you can see the way I'm doing this, there's no way that any single image that you do create doing light painting will ever be the same. It's just the way the, the brush moves. It's hard to recreate stuff. You can recreate it, but you can't make an exact duplicate. So I have a little more fire down the bottom. I'm just going to give it a little lift, make it look like a smoky fire. Go around the back side of it, and I'm going to kill this light. Now what I'm doing is I'm popping off the orange and the yellow color. Orange and yellow color. I'm just going to toss that out of my way. Now I am just on straight light. And I'm going to put this on strobe mode. And I'm just going to quickly do a quick little illumination of the candlestick. Just get a little sparky like that. And I'm going to now end my exposure. Done. We'll see that looks like big fish.